The UK's biggest supermarket chain, Tesco, has found a £250 million hole in its accounts, adding more misery for the retail chain. Pete Evans, our retail correspondent, has been following this all morning. Pete, what on earth has gone wrong at Tesco's? I mean, it's astounding. Coming on the top of everything else that's been happening to them, they've found a £250 million hole in their accounts, as you said. It seems to be one of the most basic accounting issues you could, you could sort of come across. I mean, they, they, they've, booked a, they've booked income in one quarter and, and, and not charged it in another. So there's this £250 million hole, which was brought to the attention of new CEO Dave Lewis on Friday by a so far unknown whistleblower, and he's acted on that, and there are likely to be big repercussions. Absolutely. Well, are heads rolling because of this? As you say, pretty basic mistake to make. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, well, he's, he's suspended four senior executives. Tesco haven't named them yet, but we understand one of them is uh, the head of the UK operation, Chris Bush. He's been suspended, and, right. and his replacement has been announced, bizarrely. So they won't confirm he's left, but they have announced a replacement for him, um, which kind of sort of plays into the, to the general theme of, of Tesco's communications in recent times. Now, the shares have dived this morning, and one trader at least was now saying that Tesco's is uninvestable. Mm. Are there more heads that could roll here? What about the board? What about the chairman? Well, there are huge questions, huge issues for the board particularly. Um, long been criticised as lacking retail yep. experience. Um, there's, uh, Who is the chairman the again? The chairman is Richard Broadbent, right. former deputy chairman of, of Barclays, okay. uh, long, long time banker. But um, there's only one executive on the board, and that's Dave Lewis, which is unusual um, for a UK company. So there are there is pressure being put on Broadbent, particularly at the top. He's been there for three years and overseen these four profit warnings. And Tesco's, as you say, four profit mm. warnings in three years. It's got problems anyway. What, what's the, the background to that? Yeah, well, there have been three profit warnings in three months now, um, four in three years. Wow. Um, so it's incredible. Before that, they had one in 20. So it's a reflection on a number of things, a number of issues being faced by big retailers the world over, failing to come to terms with online, with discounters, right. with um, price competition from all sides. So it's the worst possible thing that could happen in the most difficult environment. Well, as you say, it's an astounding story for such a major company. Thanks for keeping us posted, Pete.